I had an idea for preventing battery drain in this caliper when it's switched off, the idea consists of cutting this trace which leads to the battery positive, and then soldering a small normally closed SMD reed switch across it. And then I would glue a permanent magnet inside of the case of the caliper. So that whenever I lift the caliper from the case it would turn on automatically. And when I finish using the caliper I would place it back into the case, and the magnet would cut the power to the caliper and prevents it from draining the battery. All of this happens automatically as long as the caliper is kept in its case. Unfortunately I did not applicate this idea, maybe one of you will because I found a simpler solution shared by Tom Irison on YouTube. His idea consists of cutting a T-shaped plastic battery isolator and then inserting it through this opening. At first I thought that this was a bad idea and it would affect the accuracy or the smoothness of the rail, but it didn't affect neither the accuracy nor the smoothness of the I made this isolator by cutting it from a water bottle. These are the dimensions of the isolator that fits the caliper shown in the video. Insert the isolator through the gap between the rail and the board. In case you have a caliper like this, then you can insert the isolator through the data opening, as it leads directly to the battery. When you push the isolator forward, the isolator slides over the positive contact of the battery, and this will cut the power to the caliper. But when you pull it backwards the caliper will turn on. The T-shape of the isolator prevents the isolator from sliding out of the caliper when you pull it backwards. Simple but very useful, try it and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching.